Alright everyone, I thought I'd give you an update on the AMD 65 project. You may remember a little while back I put a few videos up about it. I initially planned to turn it into kind of like a modern and tactical rifle. That kind of went a bit out the window because some of the parts are quite specialised and expensive. So I thought I'd do a more budget friendly orientated modification. So for those of you that don't know, the AMD 65, even though it is an AK variant, it uses a lot of proprietary parts. This can make things a little bit difficult. So you may remember the AMD comes with this nasty like metal foregrip and it's actually got one of the pistol grips reversed around. There's like a little grip at the front and it'd be kind of like that. Really it's just not very nice. I mean it was to save weight for Hungarian paratroopers but for a wall hanger you want something a little nicer I guess. So as you can see I've got some um, Soviet redwood here or whatever it's called got this really tacky varnish on it. This will be going the varnish as well as the finish on the gun. Everything's kind of placeholder at the minute. So you may remember I just mentioned with the proprietary parts on the AMD 65 you simply can't bolt in or drop in these foregrips. You kind of got to mesh around with the wood especially with the um, lower foregrip. You kind of got to whittle away and file away slowly until you get the fit just right. The videos I see online they say you just need to take a Dremel to the front bit and kind of nip away so the um, forward piece here can clip in but for me that didn't work maybe because this wood had swollen over the years I'm not sure but I had to take quite a bit off you know, the rear of the foregrip here and also at the front now the wood around the gas tube that's a completely different story this is a standard AMD 65 gas tube and one of the problems in comparison to pretty much every other AK gas tube is it's a lot shorter but there's also nowhere for the woods to clip into. So what you have to do is to take a gas tube off any AK variant, you have to cut it down to length of this one but you also have to flare it out because you can see it's quite a wide opening at the front of this gas tube for it to sit on here. But most of the gas tubes have a the best way I can describe it really is like a Star of David shape in them. So you have to kind of open it up and flare it out so you can fit it on and then cut the gas tube down to size. Now the one I've done it on has been butchered quite a bit. I mean it should still dress up pretty nicely but you know it is what it is. It still does need a lot of work. I mean you can especially see around here the wood is still pretty tacky and beat up. But I will get it all sanded down and revarnished. And the best thing about it, none of it's permanent, if I do want to switch back to the old gas tube I can. In fact I'll probably just show you that now. Of course doing it on camera makes it 10 times more difficult than it actually is. So you just need to get a bit of leverage really. Just bring this up and then just get something in. This is the old um, cleaning rod. See, it just pops off like that. And then if I wish I can put the old gas tube in. In theory. There we go. So I'm not locked down and committed really, I can kind of swap it out as I go. Now one thing I still do need to do is to swap out this tacky and horrible pistol grip. The plastic on is really thin and flimsy, it's coming apart. I've got an old um, Soviet Baker like grip here. The only thing is, again with the proprietary parts, the um, pistol grip on the AMD doesn't use a standard grip screw. You've got the same um, mounting in the bottom of the receiver here, but the screw is actually a really tiny one all the way up in there. So you can imagine with the standard AK pistol grips you need a screw to go all the way up. So I've been trying to source a screw, I have found someone who was going to sell me one. So I'm just waiting really to um, progress with that. But as you can see the project is starting to move along finally. I will be not going at it actively, I will be just kind of slowly progressing with it and I'm just doing little bits here and there. I'm probably going to refinish the wood and then sort out this gas tube because it is pretty tacky. But other than that, uh, it is, you know, it's gaining traction, I'm getting there. And it's probably one of the only few AMD 65s in the country that has had this modification done. Most of them I see at the very least still have, you know, the old metal foregrips on them. Or at the very least they'll just have taken the um, pistol grip off the foregrip. But yeah, um, that's pretty much that. Uh, cheers for watching.